So in the um, first house you have Sagittarius IC and um, this is uh, indicating the energies which are going to be affecting your physical appearance uh, and your body language, how you are projecting yourself to others, your personality and just how you are being received um, by others in general. Um, physical body, your actual physical body. So um, with Sagittarius in there, it's indicating that um, you're, you're, being, you're, you're requiring quite a bit of freedom uh, of self-expression and um, you may be feeling quite restless in your body and you want to want to move your body, you want to get out, you want to start exploring. Sagittarius is quite an adventurous sign. So you may feel, um, in a, I mean, you are a Leo, so you're going to be, you, you are quite bold and outgoing in any case, but it's going to be... Um, it's going to be uh, highlighted at this time. Um, when it comes to um, how you project yourself, um, you, you're going to come across as, as freedom-loving, um, independent, curious, uh, adventurous, and all of those things. You may want to start a new um, physical regime of some kind. Um, you know, you may just be wanting to um, shift things a bit, get out and about, um, and it could also be the way you are projecting yourself. Um, just, just, just bear in mind that with Sagittarius, um, they say what they think, whether it hurts somebody or not. Um, often they put their foot in their mouth. So just, you know, just monitor that. Um, by all means, harness the wonderful, um, lovely outgoing energies of Sagittarius um, and and bring that into your life. Just be aware that how you, you speak out uh, may be, uh, just, just temper your words a little bit and, and harness all the lovely qualities of uh, Sagittarius, which is, which is they love to enjoy, they love going out, they're enjoying themselves, they're sporty, they're outgoing, it's very social, um, definitely the most social sign of the, of the Zodiac. So um, just, just be aware that sometimes they can actually just say what they think and not not actually ponder the the you know the circumstances too much. Then um, in the um, second house you have Taurus. I have um, this is a very uh, grounded earthy sign and it's a good sign to be having in your um, second house, which is the house of money, your self worth, your values, and your ownership. Whatever you might be owning, it's you know something that you want to purchase. Um, your your property, your land, um, and it can also be um, just possessions in general. Whatever is beautiful to you and you desire it, um, that all falls under the second house. So it's income, your money. So you may want to just be thinking a bit about your um, your current situation and um, your money, how it's coming in, how you are actually squirreling it away. Are you putting it in savings? Are you going to you know create a stable foundation? Because Tory are superior at that they really are they 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 work hard um, and and they gather their money but they make sure that they've got money put aside for a rainy day they like balance they like stability they don't like a lot of change and in fact being a leo you won't like change too much either so make sure that your you know your, your um, all those areas i've mentioned your, your your money coming in your income your values and your self-worth is is harnessing the best of Taurus, which is um, earthy, grounded, and um, balanced, um, and something put away for a rainy day. Um, and they also love luxuries. Now, you also like luxuries. So just be careful when it comes to purchases and things that you don't go over bar, overboard. Um, this is about creating financial stability and a feeling um, that your values are, you know, you've got your values, they're grounded, they're stable, and that they're working for you. Then in the third house you have Virgo. I analyze. This is a um, another Earth sign, um, and uh, it's ruled by Mercury as well. So you. you Third house is all to do with um, communication of all kinds, and that can be verbal, written, it can be contracts, it can be social media, what you're posting, um, all forms of communication, including um, body language. Um, it's also um, siblings, you know, your, your, your siblings within your family, communication with them, and it's also short journeys, small trips. So um, 
it's a very detailed uh, sign. They they sift, they weigh things up, they uh, they look at everything in great detail. Um, sometimes you can go overboard and, and be too fastidious about everything and um, put a bit of a damper on a situation. But I feel in this case, because it's appearing in your third house, if you're dealing with contracts of any kind um, or any kind of documents, just make sure that you're casting um, an analytical eye over all of that, checking everything. Um, and if you are not able, then give it to somebody who can do that for you, perhaps as a double check. Um, but it's uh, it's certainly a very analytical sign, and you requ and you're required to a a approach all your communication um, with with detail um, and uh, clear thinking, um, and to actually um, to look at things in a in a very clear headed manner. Uh, so that's coming up for you in your third house. Then in your uh, fourth house. You have the fire element, which is I desire. Um, so this is a fiery aspect, and it's coming up in your fourth house, which is all to do with your home, your family, your ethnic identity, or your roots, your foundations. Um, and specifically for your home, um, you may want to change things up there. You may be changing something already, or you may want to change things there. Either you want to to redo it on the inside, you know, change the interiors, or you may just be changing home completely. Um, um, it may be quite a quick change because fire is quick and, and it certainly does, um, it's all encompassing. Um, you may just want to freshen up your home, bring in more uh, fiery colors, the yellows, the oranges, the reds, and so on. And um, it could also be, um, it could also be um, dealing with issues from your your roots and your foundations your you know perhaps there's something that's come up from the past um something which you which you need to get clarity on and actually sort out and um, this is going to give you the impetus uh, to do that um so it's a very fiery element it's a take action element and um you can expect some changes there then in the fifth house you have um part of fortune um uh, which which indicates in, increase. It, it covers quite a few things actually, but um, it's coming up in your fifth house, which is your house of creativity, um, children, love affairs, uh, romance, um, having fun, sports, recreation of all kinds, gambling. Um, yeah, all of those sort of pleasurable activities. Um, so part of fortune is actually. Um, uh, it's a it's a it's a part of the sky. It's a calculation, actually. It's not even a planet or anything like that. But what it does indicate is that you have perhaps some hidden talents uh, or talents that are now coming to the fore. Perhaps have been latent. Um, so you need to. Part of fortune is all about um, something that you've overlooked. Some some sort of talents or some sort of abilities which perhaps you haven't just haven't used or you haven't really focused on too much. Now is the time to do that, and it's falling into your fifth house of creativity. So if you are working on a creative project of some sort, not necessarily artistic, creativity is a different thing. So you can be um, artistic as well, but it's not a prerequisite for being creative. So, you know, you, you are a creative person in any case, being a Leo, so you're going to be harnessing that. But um, you may just be um, needing, required to... Um, dig out um, perhaps something that you have you know you can do but you've just never really focused on it or you're just being asked to bring the creative angle really strongly into um, a creative project that you might be working on. And if it's for your children, they may be going through um, a few changes. Um, they may be um, experiencing uh, changes of some sort uh, and they may be looking at their talents and abilities and um, so on. So they, they're going to be possibly focusing on that and your role is to assist them, to support them through all of that. Um, and um, yeah, it could also be an abundance of some sort coming in for you, some kind of harnessing of abundance, which can take many forms, not necessarily money. It can be um, really great friends. It can be very supportive family members. It can be a, 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 something's been gifted to you. Um, uh, it, can, it can cover a wide range of things. So it's either coming in for you or it's coming in for your children or you're going to be seeing your children going through that. Or it could be that you are um, 
bringing romance in. Perhaps you've met somebody. Um, and um, this could also be a form of abundance from the universe. It's love, it's romance, it's all those pr pleasurable activities, love affairs. Um, later on, you get into the relationship field, but in this house, it's all about um, lighthearted love affairs, having fun, all those romantic, heady initial stages. And this could be a gift from the universe, or you, you've called it in, um, or your children are experiencing that, but it's some kind of abundance coming in, or it could be an overlooked talent, which you now need to harness. Um, and then um, in the sixth house, you have Uranus, um, um, and it's, it covers genius amongst other things. Your sixth house is all to do with your health and your diet and your working day, uh, your work colleagues and your workplace, also your projects that you're working on, whatever work project you're working on, mastery of your craft, whatever is your speciality. So um, having that in there is a, is a very nice um very nice uh, aspect to bring in if you're harnessing the positive aspects of Uranus, um, which is obviously the genius within, harnessing any genius abilities, which may tie in with this um, overlooked talent of some sort that you may have. So um, you're being asked to bring that in. Um, it, it is also Uranus covers all kinds of advanced tech. Um, electronics um, and just a very advanced futuristic tech almost. So you may, that may be coming into your work project or to your work environment. Um, and um, you could even be meeting Uranus type people. They're, they're, you know, sort of, they're very changeable, very quick thinking, but they're, um, they've long term, they're long, they're visionary people. Um, so you may have somebody like that in your environment, or you may be experiencing a lot of change, um, very quick, sudden upheavals in your work environment. Um, and that is also going to, um, uh, create change. So from that will come something better, but those initial stages may feel a bit wobbly for you. Um, um, but you may just be also having to, uh, to, to tackle some kind of, um, um, project which involves more advanced tech than what you are used to. It could even just be a massive phone upgrade, but when it falls in your sixth house, it's to do with your um, your work colleagues and your workplace and your work your work um, projects. It's also to do with health and diet. So you may have to may go through a bit of an upheaval, some kind of upset to do with your health. Um, it's very quick. This Uranus strikes like lightning. So you can be doing something one minute and the next minute you You've, everything's changed. So um, it also covers the circulatory system, your nervous system, and so on. So if you are overdoing it in the work environment and you're starting to feel frayed around the edges, you may have a sudden shift of some sort or, or be uh, sort of um, compelled to make a very quick, swift change through circumstances. So, you know, examine, uh, look after your health, um, Look at your diet. Be fastidious about what you're doing. And um, and if you have to do research on that and actually take to the internet to find working solutions for you, we are all different. We're all unique. So you may want to look at that. Um, it also covers the house of pets as well. So you could be having a few changes to do with pets there as well. Um, then we have the uh, seventh house, which is Pisces, I believe. Um, this is the house of partnerships of all kinds, whether it's a personal one-on-one -on -one, um, committed relationship between yourself and a partner, or it could be a business partner. It covers all of that. And uh, this is the deeper relationship. So the fifth house covers love affairs, which is the initial stage, and then you move to the um, actual deeper relationship, committed relationship between two people. So um, you could be having a bit of a crisis of faith, or you could be um, asked to have faith. Um, uh, Pisces, I believe. Um, and uh, so those elements may be coming into your relationship, or you could be attracting somebody who is quite Piscean in their ways, um, their characteristics and the way they, they are in a relationship. Um, it could be quite a watery um, sensation. It can be lovely. It can be beautiful. It can be transcendent. Um, Pisces is ruled by Neptune. There are a lot of imagination, a beautiful relating, actually. Um, it could even signify somebody who's incredibly special. It could even be somebody really, uh, really special in your life with a very deep connection. Um, but there always, is always the other side of it. You could be uh, involved with somebody who is um, 
grappling with uh, they perhaps your 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 deeper relationship is a little bit confu- confusing to you or it's not clear or there are issues of your relationship which are not clear um you may need to put boundaries in um because Pisces, they go with the flow. It's a, it's a water sign, and sometimes they can undo all the work that they've done. So um, just, you know, think about your your own personal um, desires and needs, but you may have to surrender a few things uh, for the greater good of the relationship. And especially if you've got Sagittarius appearing in your first house, this is your opposite of your seventh house. So how you are coming across to others is going to be very Sagittarian, outgoing, you know, freedom loving, you may feel very restless. And yet in this relationship house, you've got Pisces, which is all about, um, which is all about going with the flow, plumbing the depths, um, and, um, and, 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 and looking and examining your part in the relationship. Where can you make compromise? Uh, where is it that, that the def- there's no definition? So you may have to just look at all of that. And this applies obviously to a business partnership as well. Um, but, uh, but you could also just be required to have a bit of faith. Um, and if there, this is somebody very special in your life, well, then you have to temper all the other aspects of yourself to, to best accommodate um, a higher relating um, and not slip into drama and negativity or um, self-undoing. Then we have um, in your eighth house, which is Scorpio, I transform. This is in its own house, actually. Scorpio is the eighth house. Um, so if you are involved in a, in a, in a transcend, uh, transcendental kind of relationship or a really deep relationship, which is going through, uh, all the Piscean, um, issues, um, uh, Scorpio, I transform is going to require of you, um, quite a, like I said, quite a bit of transformation when it comes to joint finances, anything shared between committed partners, your resources. Um, there's going to be some sort of, transformation going on there. Um, Scorpio is all about um, sex and power and money and um, also uh, ego death and rebirth. Uh, so if, you may have to look at this uh, in, your, in, the, in, in a higher aspect when it comes to your deeper relationship. What is actually going on? Um, get clear uh, get clear about your part in the relationship and so on. And then you will have clarity when it comes to knowing what to do with all these deeper issues, um, between the committed partners. Um, so if it's, if it's, if you are not in a relationship, then this is just, um, uh, being a bit, uh, you know, bringing in the finer qualities of Pisces into any relationship that you may want to have. And then also, um, transforming, um, your views about sexuality and about, um, sharing resources and um, it, you, you may also be attracting a very passionate uh, relationship as well um, and also it could be as I said some sort of ego death and then transformation um, this house also covers um, as I said money but it's big money it's things like inheritances insurance tax um, and investments other people's money so you may be working in that environment um, and you may be dealing with other people's money and there's some kind of um, some kind of issue which is going to requ- is going to come to the surface and is going to require uh, dealing with um, it could also be significant loss or gain um, so the death of something and the rebirth of another thing so um, just make sure your ducks are in a row if you're handling other people's money just make sure your, your ducks are in the row and that you're handling things with um, with your feet on the ground uh, and with your integrity intact um, and uh, but there's definitely transformation of some kind going on there um, uh, and that is it, it's, it's a quite a deep house there's a lot going on in that house uh, and all those is, issues sex money um, power, you may be wielding a lot of power in a relationship or your relationships with others uh, to do with money and um, that requires some some transformation. You may also, if it's, a, if it's a deeper relationship, there may be hidden at this time. It may not be public knowledge that you're in this relationship um, or something could come out as well to do with any of those issues. Then we have the um, ninth house, which is Jupiter. Um, and this is all to do with abundance. Um, and this is its own house as well. So powerful place for it to be sitting. And the ninth house is, um, all to do with, um, 
uh, international travel. So long distance travel, it's to do with publishing, it's to do with um, religion, your beliefs, 